Hello, and welcome to uh, what can only be called potential playoff situations. Um, there's a list of teams I've compiled here. Uh, 15 different teams who are technically still in the race for the uh, national title playoffs and everything. So, we'll start in order of their ranking. There's uh, the obvious ones, Georgia, Alabama, Notre Dame, Clemson, Oklahoma, Ohio State, Penn State, TCU, Wisconsin, oh, Miami of Florida, Oklahoma State, Washington, Virginia Tech, and then the not-so-obvious ones, US, UCF and uh, Memphis. So, all of these teams are either undefeated or one-loss teams. There are some stretch ones that require a lot, like Virginia Tech, UCF, Memphis. But in a lot of those cases, in, especially in Virginia Tech, they control their own destiny. So here are a few situations I've lined up. Uh, scenarios involve Georgia going undefeated and winning the conference, the SEC conference. Alabama's only loss being to, a close one to Georgia. Notre Dame wins out. Clemson wins out. That would put, I would believe, Georgia at number one, Alabama at number two, Clemson at number three, and Notre Dame at number four, which would lead to a rematch between Notre Dame and Georgia from earlier in the season and Alabama at Clemson rematch of the national title last year and the year before. So, that could be interesting uh, in that, given that situation. I honestly think Notre Dame stands a chance of winning going to the conference championship or the national championship, and I think Alabama would beat Clemson this time around. Now, given the same situation, uh, that would be an interesting national title, by the way. Given the same situation, except Bama wins the conference, changes it up a bit. I got Bama at number one, I got Clemson at number two, Georgia at number three, and Notre Dame at number four, which would lead to an Alabama-Notre Dame game, which I think Alabama would probably win that one, uh, and then Clemson, Georgia, who I think Georgia would win that one, and you could end up with a national title that has uh, a repeat of the SEC championship. Now, let's tweak it a little. Miami wins out, wins the conference. Georgia wins out, wins the conference. Uh, and then Oklahoma wins out. Then you've got Georgia at number one. Miami, who's undefeated, at number two. Alabama at number three and Oklahoma at number four. Now, if you trade those out and you have, say, Oklahoma State went out and win the conference, you got Oklahoma State at number four. Or TCU, same thing. So, like, I think the Big 12 could get in, but it would require a lot of other things. But let's say you've got a Miami team that loses to Notre Dame but wins the ACC. Okay? you got Notre Dame winning out, going 11-1. Georgia loses the conference to Alabama. So then you have Alabama and my, at number one. Notre Dame, I would think, would be number two. Georgia would be number three, and Miami would be number four. It would lead to a rematch of Notre Dame and Georgia, and Alabama versus Miami. Um, a lot of interesting things that go on there. Um, I think that... You can't count out Miami or Wisconsin. So there are situations where Wisconsin could make the playoffs. Here's how. They went out, which is not improbable, and go to the conference championship, which it looks like they probably will do. Uh, they will be either playing Ohio State or Penn State at this point. If um, Let's just go with Ohio State. If Ohio State makes it, by that point, they're probably going to be fifth, maybe, in the, in the nation. If Wisconsin beats Ohio State in the conference championship, they would be an undefeated team with a win over Ohio State. You would have to kind of give them the nod. Um, so while Miami and Wisconsin got snubbed by the committee in, in the rankings, falling at 9 and 10 with eight other, um, or sorry, not eight, six other one-loss teams above them in the rankings, um, they are still in control of their destiny. So, let's get to some of the other, these other teams who have a chance at making it. Penn State. If Penn State manages to win out on the season, they would go 11-1. Here's where it gets tricky. They need a lot to happen. 
they need Michigan State. They need to beat Michigan State, and they need Michigan State to beat Ohio State, and they need Michigan to beat Ohio State. They need Ohio State to lose twice. If Ohio State goes to the conference championship as an 11-1 team and wins it, Penn State's out. However, if um, if Ohio State loses a couple of conference games and Penn State ends up in the conference championship, wins it, they'll go 12-1. and one. This time they would not go to the Rose Bowl um, in that aspect. They would go to the playoffs. Um... We've already covered TCU. There's a lot that could happen there. Now, here's an interesting situation for Penn State. You got Ohio State, who maybe they lose one more game. Let's say Ohio State loses to Michigan, but goes to the conference championship, wins the conference championship. Well, you have a Penn State who wins out at 11 and one. What do you do with them? Because if Ohio State loses a game, they fall out. They fall out of the running, they're done. But if they win the conference championship and Penn State's sitting as an at-large at 11-1, and one, you kind of got to give them some credit. So they could get in that way. Um, there's, there's a lot that goes down here. Now, there's other things here. Um, Washington. Washington could win out and win the conference. Here's the thing. If Washington wins out and wins the conference, do they make it in? They've lost a game already, yes, but uh, they lost it to Arizona State, and it was like a seven-point game. Do we give them a nod? Because we did to Clemson. It's interesting. Now, the stretch ones, we're looking at Virginia Tech. Virginia Tech has a chance. What Virginia Tech has to have happen is a... Uh, one of a few things. They, A, they need to beat Miami and win out on the season to finish 11-1 and go to the conference championship. If they do that, then one of two things needs to happen in the conference championship. They, they need to win it is the end result. But if NC State manages to win the other half of the SEC, uh, the ACC, sorry, then Virginia Tech needs to beat them, and I think at a 12-1, and Virginia Tech would get a uh, consideration. Then the other option is, if, which is honestly more, a, more strong res, a, a stronger resume for Virginia Tech, is if Clemson beats NC State this weekend, wins their half of the conference, goes into the conference championship with a uh, high ranking, and if Virginia Tech can beat them in the conference championship, then I think Virginia Tech would have redeemed their only one, their only loss that season. They would have been, again, 12 and one, but their one of their wins counters their loss because it's to the same team. So I think that would be interesting. Now for the real, real stretches. Uh, UCF. UCF is undefeated. If they go undefeated, they essentially need pretty much everyone ahead of them to lose one or two more games. They would need Virginia Tech to lose another game. They would need Washington to lose another game. Oklahoma State, TCU, Penn State, Ohio State, Oklahoma, Clemson, and possibly Notre Dame just for good measure. They would also need Wisconsin and Miami to lose two games. Um, or at least one of them, because that wouldn't let them an N at the top as an undefeated team. I don't see that happening, so I don't. I think it's a super stretch on them. And then Memphis is the even bigger super stretch. I don't think Memphis is ever going to make it as a one-loss team. That one loss is going to hold them back, especially given their schedule. So that's. Potential teams, potential scenarios for the uh, playoffs coming up at the end of the year. I am super excited right now for this, guys. Can't wait to find out what your predictions are, uh, what you guys are thinking about this. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. I, uh, I can't wait to continue with this conversation as the, se as the weeks go on. Um, thanks for tuning in, and if, if you guys want to stick around, I'll be doing my uh, week 10 predictions video next.
Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next video.